science fiction is getting closer to reality. You're looking at an electric flying car during a demonstration in North Carolina. It's a single-seater, all-electric aircraft from California-based company Pivotal. Now, you don't need a pilot license to drive them, but federal regulations do restrict flight to daylight hours in non-congested areas. I feel like you should have a pilot's license for this. You would think, right? That's what I would think, and it means that, well, this means it could be a while before everyday Americans take to the skies in one of these aircrafts, but right now the woman who has the first one in the country is confident about their future. The vision of the flying car is everybody's going to have one. You're going to have one. I'm going to have one. Speak for yourself. I want my tires on the ground. Oh, preach, right? <laughs> yeah. She says the regulations on features like GPS auto fly still have to mature, just like auto drive features on cars. It comes with a price tag of $190,000, so I don't stand a chance. I do not stand a chance. Speak for yourself when everybody's going to have one. Yeah, I already have a hard time <laughs> flying on the plane, right? Exactly.